The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for the purification according to the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, to the law of the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Panuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescription of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and favor of God was upon him. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Today, we celebrate the Feast of Holy Family. Now, let us reflect on why this family of our Lord Jesus Christ, Mary and Joseph, became a holy family. What made them a holy family? Well, first of all, my dear brothers and sisters, the family of, of Mary, Joseph, and and our Lord Jesus Christ also experienced hardship, also experienced suffering, also experienced difficulties and problems in life. In the same way, in different families all over the world. As we can see that from the beginning of the conception of our Lord Jesus Christ in the womb, of our mother Mary. The Gabriel said, Mary, you are full of grace. You will conceive a child. But then Mary said, how could that be? So she was wondering that how will the relatives and the family so against will be against her because they will they could not you know, 
uh, they could not understand this that uh, she has found with a child before marriage with Joseph. And so, and also Joseph, when, when he found out that Mary was with the child, so there was a dilemma in, uh, you know, in, in, in his mind. And so she, he was uh, thinking, he was planning uh, to divorce Mary secretly, not to humiliate her, not to shame her uh, uh, before uh, her family and uh, friends. But then the Lord, during his dream, appeared to Joseph saying, Joseph, do not be afraid. And so Joseph, Joseph followed the will of God. He, he cooperated with the will of God instead of following his own thinking, his own mind, and his own will. And as we know that our, you know, that, uh, you know, when, when, when uh, our, and when Mother Mary was about to give birth, you know, they, do, they did not have a place to go. There was no inn to accept them. And so, and so they ended up in, in the manger that our Lord Jesus Christ was born in a manger. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pause for a while. Let us be silent and then ask ourselves, you know, manger? Why manger? Why God, you know, uh, you know, was born in a manger? What is in the manger? Manger, my dear brothers and sisters, is a place of animals. It is a dirty place, a smelly place. It is where the animal shit is, is found. Just imagine God was born in that dirty place, in that kind of poverty. And perhaps I believe that when you have, you know, when you have a baby, so you, you, you don't like, you know, you, you like to, um, uh, to, to, lead, to deliver, you know, in the best hospital, perhaps in the KK hospital in Singapore, and you will invite the best, uh, the best doctor in, in Singapore in order for your baby to be safe, you know, and to be healthy when he will come out into this world. But again, you know, that, that, that there were uh, this, this family, you know, this holy family was in danger. This family was, you know, was no, uh, no place to, you know, to, to the, uh, for, for Mary to deliver her baby, uh, Jesus. And as you know, that when baby Jesus was born, the family needed to flee, you know, to Egypt because they heard that, uh, you know, King Herod was trying to, to kill all the infants. And so you can see, my dear brothers and sisters, that even the family of Jesus experienced suffering, experienced poverty, you know, and also, as you can see, you know, that God, you know, uh, God has chosen, you know, to have a family like Mary and Joseph. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, what, uh, you see, what made this family of Mary and Joseph and, and our Lord Jesus Christ holy? First of all, they became holy family because they were filled with God's grace. Na puspus po ng grasya ng Panginoon ang kanilang pamilya. As we, as we heard, you know, the angel Gabriel said to Mary, Mary, you are full of grace. The Lord is with you. And then also the angel said to uh, Joseph, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Because the baby in her uh, womb is, you know, is given by from the Holy Spirit, 
and he will be blessed and he will be the Messiah of humankind. And so, you know, napuspus po sila ng biyaya ng ating Diyos. Now, papaano po sila napuspus ng biyaya ng Diyos? is because they emptied themselves in order to be filled by the grace of God. They humbled themselves so that God, you know, they emptied themselves so that God can lead them, so that God, you know, can, can uh, you know, so that God's words will happen in their lives. They cooperated with the will of God so that the promise of, promises of the Lord will be fulfilled to mankind. So it is by losing oneself that we may find life. Sabi ng ating Panginoon, you know, if anyone who wants to follow me, you know, he will lose himself for my sake and he will find his life. Ganon din po ang dapat sa atin, no, ng ating mga pamilya. We need to we, we need to so we need to humble ourselves. We need to empty ourselves in dying of oneself. Paano po natin magagawa ito sa ating pamilya, no? Na may, uh, you know they were poor. Our Lord Jesus Christ, He knew that He was God. But He emptied Himself. He took the form of a slave. He carried His cross. He was crucified on the cross. He died on the cross. And can you imagine, my dear brothers and sisters, during the time of Jesus, when you were crucified and died on a cross, that is the most humiliating experience of man during the time of Jesus. And so, nagawa ng ating Panginoon <laughs> na magpapapako sa krus, magpakamatay sa krus, hindi dahil, para, hindi dahil sa kanyang kasalanan, kundi dahil na rin sa kanyang pagmamahal sa atin. So ganun din po, mga magulang at kapatid, magkakaroon po tayo ng banal na pamilya kung tayo po ang mga magulang and they need to empty themselves. Kailangan sila magpakumbaba, empty themselves so that God can lead them, so that God can, can, uh, can, can instruct them, can teach them of how to have a holy life, a holy family. Because if we are full of ourselves, kung punong-puno po tayo ng ating sarili, so wala na hong parte ang ating Panginoon sa ating mga puso, sa ating buhay. Kaya naman, you know, there are many people, yes, they believe in God, but then they, they will say, God, yes, I believe in you, but you have nothing to, to do with my life. My life is mine. I do what I want to do. I have a freedom, you know, to live my life. And don't tell me what to do. That is pride. That is not humility. That is not emptying ourselves. And in this case, if that will happen to us, then God cannot work in and through us. That God's work cannot be fulfilled in our life, in our families. So we have to bow down. We have to, you know, we have to empty. Kailangan tayo magpakumbaba. Ang mga magulang, magpakumba, uh, magmahalan sila sa pagpapakumbaba nilang mag-asawa. Hindi nagpapataasan sila. Hindi kung sino ang, ang, ang tama. No. Sa pagmamahal, hindi. It is not a matter kung sino tama at mali. No. The love for each other must be, you know, the first one must be to value, not to be right and wrong, not kung sino ang tama. No. For the sake of the family, pwede nating tanggapin 
ang ating pagkakasala, ang ating pagkakamali. And then even then, and also, paano yung mga, yung mga anak na magpapakumaba? How do you, you know, how do you empty yourselves kayong mga anak? It is there in the readings. He said, you know, honor your father and your mother. Respect them. If you do that, God will bless you and will give you long life. Yes, my dear children, I know you are there together with your family, together with your parents. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ said, honor, respect, and love, and obey your parents because this is, this is to do God's will for your life. Because if you obey them, so you will have you will have a wonderful and prosperous life and so my dear brothers and sisters this is what the lord called us a holy family because a holy family is a family who lives love for each other and love for god kanginangay well well i kaya ako gustong gusto kong nakikita itong mga uh, yung mga anak ng mga families ng Ave Maria na they are leading the rosaries you know they are leading the prayers and they are reading you know the they are participating in our holy mass online this is very good this is a way you know as uh, you can pray together that family that prays together Stays together. Yan po ang nawawala, you know, sa pamilya ngayon. Kaya po tayo nagkakawatak-watak dahil hindi po tayo nagkakaisa sa panalangin. But once we are united in prayer, prayer will unite us for love of God and love for each other. And also, through Mary. No, mamaya po, No, through Mary, to Jesus, through Mary. Mamaya po, pagkatapos po ng, uh, ng banal na misa, we will have a renewal for our consecration, our family consecration to Jesus, through Mary. Amen.